We formulated an amazing team. They're putting their best efforts in to help us recreate something truly amazing and go out and race at Bonneville with Indian and do Burt Monroe proud. We've got Wayne Colden leading the effort for us. Wayne, actually in his free time, races a scout. It's what he does. He's building a new turbo-powered scout that he's going to go run at El Mirage and again at Bonneville, and he's leading the project for us. We've got Dan Jarvis, who's an amazing fabricator, who's been putting hours and hours into this bike. Uh, we've also got Matt and Steve working on the powertrain, and they're donating their time at night to turn an Indian Scout into a record breaker. The basis for the Spirit of Monroe bike is a stock uh, Indian Scout, and we, we did a lot of dumpster diving on this project. I mean, there's a lot of good parts that uh, were repurposed to uh, go racing, and we um, you know, resurrected a frame from the boneyard and repurposed it to, for our race bike. The class that we're running in requires us to keep the frame stock and then started with a stock engine that bolts in just fine. The only thing that gets tight is when we start looking at the intake and our special cylinder heads. And fitting that within the, the backbone was probably the tightest constraint that we had. Since we need, we need airflow to make power, one of the big modifications we made was we uh, modified the, the whole gas tank as really a huge air box. The class we're running in is 1350cc limit, so right now we are at right at 1299cc. We are running in the partial streamlining class, so we have uh, fairing has to be such that the rider is visible from the sides and the top. So we uh, purchased a fairing that we thought would work with our bike. Quickly came to the realization that the stock triple clamps were way too wide. We had some narrower triple clamps. Lucky enough, they were part of another project we happened to have them laying around. And then we were able to fit the handlebars inside the fairing. We replaced the stock rear shocks with a solid aluminum strut and we have various links to allow us to do some adjustment there on ride height. So the exhaust, we worked with a couple of our engineers and modeled a few different scenarios and uh, what we found in the model it made the most power with um, a 15 inch length and the only way we could get it to work on the bike is to go directly out the side. So I come up with a solution to pass it through the bodywork. It seemed to make the power that we were expecting on the dyno, and it's pretty clean and simple. A big day will be when we get to El Mirage. If we can get through vehicle inspection without a whole bunch of headaches, that'll be a, a huge day for us. So the first ride at El Mirage will be interesting. Hopefully we don't struggle too much if we get uh, Lee through his licensing and get him used to the bike and the bike runs well. You know, we, we hope to get through some reasonable speeds, maybe in the one, 180 range. We would be uh, very satisfied, very happy. Uh, we'll collect a lot of data. We'll be uh, studying data after the runs. It's, it's going to be a huge learning experience and, it, and most of all it should be a lot of fun.